world. I wanted to document how COVID sped up my theory that the world would go digital remotely, uh, working remotely specifically, and that property in the middle of nowhere would be valued higher in the future. So let's rewind. Um, I'm back in business school, law school. I write my first business plan to expand my business. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. Um, and by, the, by 2012, after the first market crash, not the first market crash, but the 2008-2009 uh, real estate market crash, which eventually led to a stock market crash, um, I, I said to myself, I was looking at real estate and I found a bunch of land in the middle of nowhere and they were basically giving it away because land prices get even more depressed as real estate prices get depressed. So if houses are going for cheap, uh, real estate's almost, I mean, land is almost going for free, depending on where you're at. So I started buying a bunch of land in the middle of nowhere. And my premise was that the internet will allow for work there. So a lot of these areas are not populated because there's nothing to do there. But I saw forward, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And I said to myself, this land is going to become more valuable as time goes on because you'll be able to get internet access there and you'll be able to work from there. You'll be able to make money from there. Logistics will get better. Deliveries will be able to go out there. So it'll be feasible to live out there. So I started buying a bunch of land in the middle of nowhere. Um, fast forward, last year, I had the same premise, but with distressed cities in the United States. So cities in the United States, in middle America, um, you know, from Boston to Philly, they call it the Rust Belt. Um, but you got Detroit, you got Cleveland, you got a, a ton of places where infrastructure was built 100 years ago. This is a perfect example, right? Herkimer, New York. I'm in upstate New York right now. Um, but manufacturing at one time ruled the day and uh, it left and it left all this empty infrastructure. Um, usually four or five hours outside of a major city, this infrastructure gets super cheap. Um, below reconstruction costs, okay? Um, so my theory was, I said, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to build a Silicon Valley these. People are going to end up moving up here. Uh, why are you paying, overpaying for um, prices in the city? Um, usually because of convenience sake or because of the access to work. And that will eventually change. So I bought a bunch of property up here. Uh, I started acquiring real estate uh, in these distressed towns. And COVID, then COVID hits. And my theory was that you're going to be able to work from anywhere. I felt like this was coming anyway, but COVID sped it up, right? It made people work from home. Um, there was a ton of jobs that were already, you know, supposed to be working from home. Let's get real. A lot of that is um, unneeded infrastructure expenses when you talk about offices where people are working in front of a computer all day. Like, you don't need an office. <laughs> you can work from anywhere, right? You can work from the, the cafe shop. Um, so that's, COVID sped that up. And then when you talk about moving out to the middle of nowhere, right? Now it made that feasible with the job thing. But the pandemic, what happened was the pandemic, people were scared to be around other people. So they, now there's an increased value in having remote right, living, like literally remote living, like away from other people where populations are less. And, and in these small towns, because the populations are less, you're already remote, even if you're in the urban area of the village. Um, so, you know, these towns and, and, and it's not just upstate New York, right? I'm, I'm try I want to make the point that these towns are in Pennsylvania, these towns are in Illinois, these towns are in Michigan, um, these towns are, they're all over America, where, like I said, a hundred years ago, there was a, the Industrial Revolution came, and we were manufacturing, manufacturing, manufacturing in the U.S., and then that's a, we sort of slowly turned into a service economy, and now these, this infrastructure is sitting there undervalued, in my opinion. So, COVID helped me out. COVID helped me out. COVID helped up my whole theory, right? Uh, and I'm super excited because I do think that we emerge stronger on the other side of adversity. So um, this is a great time to be alive. I hope you guys are taking advantage of life. Be good, be great. I just want to document this. This is an entrepreneur's journey, my vlog, where I basically document things so I can go back and look and be like, okay, that's what I was doing then. Um, that's what I was thinking. And, you know, hopefully give myself a roadmap for the things I did right and the things I did wrong and the things I learned along the way. So hope you guys are great. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
um, if you appreciate the advice. Ask a bunch of questions. I'm going to get back to the comments. Um, I haven't been uh, getting to the comments because I've been buying real estate. Hey, now. <laughs>